all right yo what's good y'all listen all right i'm gonna be making a video on showing y'all how to create your own businesses using ak-47 business script i'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step exactly how to do it if you guys have any other questions by the end of the video you can just comment it down below and i'll try my best to get back to you guys but the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to download this folder right here i'm gonna put the link in the description i'm put a google drive link you guys can go ahead and download this it's just templates makes it way easier for you guys so first thing you want to do obviously other than downloading this is you're going to open your ak-47 business group you're going to go into the shops folder and then food i'll make another video on the weapons if you guys want to see that just make a comment and i'll go ahead and get that ready for you guys but other than that you're going to want to get this replace folder right here and you're going to drag and drop it into your food. And you're going to replace this to the restaurant name. For example, as you can see, I am doing noodles. So I am going to replace this folder name and I'm going to call it noodles. And then you're going to want to just open it up. And this is the part where you have to pay attention because this is it's really it's really tedious on what you have to do right here this is going to be your job name so you're just going to put whatever job name you have make sure you do not capitalize it because it is going to go into the database so do not capitalize this part over here just going to want to type it in i'm going to use noodles as the example and then for the blip this part you can capitalize it this is going to be for example how this says shopping mall that is what's going to pop up for this restaurant. So I am going to do noodle noodles. You can capitalize this. It's just the name of the blip. If you want your blip to show, you can change it to true. If you want it not to show, you can do false. Mine's inside the mall, so I don't want it to show. So I'm going to do false. And this is your management ranks, the rank, the job rank you want to be able to manage. Um, the prices and the stock of your items i'm gonna just keep it at i'll do one because that is what my boss um rank is and after you're done with that you're gonna want to go down to line 10 under crafting this is where um people will go and cook the food or get drinks so i am gonna get it i'm gonna put it right over here you're gonna want to do slash tx open tx admin you go down you're gonna go to copy chords you're gonna go back to your script you're gonna paste the chords in here and you're gonna delete delete the comma and the last couple numbers and you can go ahead and control s to save that i can go ahead and close this all right anyways now the items that you want to be like sold or be able to be made in the server you're going to put right over here. If you want to create more, just go down to the yellow bracket. You're going to copy everything up to the item. You can just hit shift enter and paste a new one. That's if you want more items in your server. I don't right now. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. But now you're just going to right here where it says item name. You will put the item name that will be put into your database. So make sure there is no capitalization and no um, spaces. Okay. So I'm going to just do apple juice. I want to add apple juice. Just write down apple juice. And, and you can just do that. And then the steps to for like you to make the item. So for drinks, I don't have to cook it. Go to multiple spots. So I'm going to just go right over here. I'm going to just copy these chords. I'm going to place them in here. For this part, you can leave these last. You have to leave this last one. So once you paste it, you're good. The delay, this is in, I believe, seconds on how long it takes to make the item. I'm going to just lower that to 10. And if you want to do multiple steps, like, for example, let's say you're making a burger. You'd want to go over to the grill and then to a different spot all you're going to want to do you're just going to copy the whole line and you're just going to paste it down here and then you're going to put the second spot down there i don't need to since it's a drink so i'm just going to leave it just like that and that's all you have to do
Then you're going to scroll down to line 23 for storage. This is where obviously your storage is going to be. So I'm going to just put the storage right on over here. Same thing, slash TX, copy cords, and you're going to paste it in right here. Now, for this part, you're not going to delete this one. Instead, you're going to delete this one right here. So there should be one, two, three. And then the fourth one you will delete. And you're going to make sure you only have three after that. And then just a comma and then zero, zero. You can go ahead and control S to save that. And for the storage, same thing over here. I added apple juice. So we're just going to type in apple underscore juice and misspelled it sorry just like that and you you can go ahead and just copy it and paste it inside of these little air quotes right there and now the sell cords right here this is where customers can go ahead and buy the food so i want customers to be able to purchase the food right in the front right here once again, you're going to go to TX and you are going to copy your cords. And then right here, line 38, you're just going to replace the word replace with your, with your coordinates. And you can go ahead and delete this last one. And control S to save it once again. And now the same thing again. You're just going to right here where it says item underscore name. You're just going to put apple juice. Put a couple spaces and... Same thing, gonna go ahead and copy it and replace item name with your item name. Now, on this part down here, this is the pages on the bottom of the menu. So I will go ahead and show you guys that right on over here. He's gonna go ahead and no clip just to not waste any time. So over here, let me just show you guys. The pages is these at the bottom. You can have as much as you want, I believe. So the way to set up the pages, for example, for me, I'm only going to add drinks. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete the rest of them. And I'm just going to change the label to drinks. And I'm going to keep page number zero. If you want multiple page numbers, you can go ahead and just do as much page numbers as you want. But just make sure the first one is labeled zero and then you go one and then two and then three you guys get the point i only want one make sure you leave the icon as fa dash link you do not want to change that and since this is a drink and it's going to be on the drinks page which is labeled zero right here the page number we're going to do zero because that is what drinks is right here you can go control s to save the whole thing and you're done that was the most complicated part of course if you want to add a management which i would obviously recommend because that's how you put food in and out you're just going to find a spot where you want to put the the marker and you go ahead and copy your cords and you can paste it in under management once again you're going to delete the last cords and for your box boss actions as well you will go ahead find another location and you can do the same exact thing we can go ahead and delete the comma with the last chords and just like that you're done everything is filled out make sure you have nothing that says underscore item underscore name or anything that says replace once you saw that you have nothing that says either of those things, you can go ahead, control S or hit file, save, and you're done with that. That's all you had to do. Simple as that. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this template. And right here, if you're making a restaurant, you can go ahead and replace this with the restaurant name. This doesn't matter. It's just a label. So you're organized. And now the things that say replace, you're going to want to replace it with your item name. So for example, I did apple juice. So I am going to type apple juice and I'm going to replace everything that says replace with the apple juice. Now, if it is a food item, you will copy the first one and replace the things with the food item because that will fill up your hunger. If it is a drink, you will use the second one, which is thirst. 
and you're just going to do the same exact thing. Replace the word replace with the food item or drink item. This is completely up to you. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead, drag this off to the side. You're going to want to go back, open business. You're going to go to server and then usable. If you're using Visual Studio Code, it will open in the same one. Perfectly fine. You're going to want to go back to the template. You're going to want to go ahead, grab the whole thing. Unless if it's just a drink, then you're just going to grab the second one. If it's hunger, you're going to grab the top one. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this first line just so we can make a line so we're organized. And then we're going to go ahead, grab the second one because we're doing apple juice, which is obviously a drink. And you can control S or hit file and save it. Now you're done. That drink can now be used within the server or food item if you copied the first one. Now you're done with that. Now you're going to want to open this right here. You're going to go ahead and open it in your database. And same thing, you're just going to replace everything in here. So for here, you have to be careful. We're going to go back into food, open noodles. And whatever you put here is what you're going to replace in there. So I'm going to just copy noodles. Make sure it is not capitalized. We're going to go ahead, society underscore, and then noodles. And right here, as you can see, it's just the label. So you can just, you can do noodles or obviously your, whatever you're doing. That can be capitalized. Make sure you keep that at one. Same thing with the job name. The first one cannot be capitalized. If it is capitalized, it will not work. And same thing for the second one. The second one can be capitalized, so it is perfectly fine if you have it capitalized. And now for the job grades. You're going to do the same thing. Job underscore name. Make sure it is not capitalized. Do not capitalize this because it will not work once again. And now for the grade, um, I'm going to have one grade as employee. So make sure you don't capitalize this as well. Employee and the second one is going to be boss. And now the second one can be. So for example, since this one was employee, I'm going to just grab this and capitalize employee. And for boss, instead of it saying boss on the top right of my screen, I'm going to just do owner. And this is just how much they get paid. You can change that to your liking. You can do whatever you want. These, make sure you leave the same, do not change that. And if you added a custom item, you need this. If you did not, you do not need it. I added apple juice as the custom item. So I will go ahead and insert apple juice. And on the second one, you can just type in apple juice. This item right here is the item that should be displayed here. So like I said, it makes sure it has no capitalizations and no spaces or it will not work. But once you're done filling all this in, you can go ahead, hit it a couple times. You can go ahead and click this. And I already had apple juice, so it's going to just say that it was already there. But yours shouldn't say that if you were adding a custom item. But once you're done with all that, you're good to go. You can restart your server. I'll show you guys in a second. But first, we are going to make sure that everything went in. So we're going to go into add-on accounts. And we're going to look for noodles. As you can see, noodles was recreated. And now we're going to go down to jobs, which go down here. And as you can see, noodles was created. And job grades, we can scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see employee and boss were both created. And now you can go into your items. We'll go over here. And as you can see, Apple Juice is here and ready to go. Now you can go ahead and close that. And with a quirk, quick server restart, as you can see, there is nothing here. Nothing's here. 
so once you did all that you guys followed along everything you just go ahead and restart your server and you'll be good to go so i'll be right back as soon as i'm back into the server all right guys i'm back into the server we're gonna go ahead load in and crossing our fingers as you can see the job was created and you have your drink right here type one go ahead and buy it and just show you it is a usable item now so you can drink it and you add a job so we can go ahead and do slash said job any noodles and one for owner as you can see top right and just to show you guys zero is employee so we'll go back to one and as you can see right here is your craft menu we want to go ahead and make an apple juice click start see the step we put right here it is now you are now making quote unquote the food we'll go ahead and once it's done it should give you that apple juice and over here is your stock menu and now run outside and you can see the management is right here we'll go ahead and put the apple juice we just made in there and your boss actions are right over here and just like that it's honestly very simple to make it if you guys have any other questions on if you got an error or anything like that you can just comment it down below or you can at me in the menin ak47 discord just at cyber and i'll pop up and you can just go ahead and at me in there and i'll try to get back to as much as you as i can but yeah that's honestly it for today's video just make sure you like and subscribe i try to post almost daily um on how to install his scripts and how to configure them so if you guys have any like script that you guys would want me to make a video on you can comment it down below but other than that i'll catch you guys on the next one